gang, Jagalair here uh, with uh, something odd that I found in Walmart while doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, the Walmart that I visit had, right next to the Legos, it had these little uh, Bon Bao, Bon Bao, Bon, B-A-N-B-A-O uh, toys in the, in the aisle. And they were relatively inexpensive and had some weird things on the front. So decided to pick it up and take a look. Now, I am no longer an expert on Lego bricks. That time has passed for me, so I decided to bring in an expert. Uh, now, I would like you to welcome, welcome you, uh, Chief Legoologist of Michigan, uh, Matthew. All right, so I have with me uh, Matthew, and so here we have the Pirates. Banbo. Banbo box. What is on here that a pirate should have? Sword, telescope, hat, eye patch, maybe. The pirates have cats and dogs? No. Oh, okay. And they can. So this is probably not historically accurate. Okay. All right. So let's move on to opening it, and we'll take a look inside. All right. So go ahead and open the box so you can see the front. We've got this big sticker that says that Bon Bao USA is in Sparta, Michigan. Okay, this is the pirate. I think that's the soldier. This should be the animal swords and wagon. And wagon. Weapons and wagons. Okay, and we've got instructions how to put people on a horse. Already know how to put them on a horse. Well, plug up in here. Do we have a horse though? Um, let's see. No, we do not. Okay, and we have instructions on how to put the wagon together, and we also have stickers, but the stickers are going to go on the wagon and seal the wagon together. At least these are better than Legos. Why are they better than Legos? <laughs> You should see how hard it is to remove their legs and arms. Do you want them? You don't, I mean, you don't want them to be easy to take off, do you? Yeah, because that's, that's pretty much the point. Oh, okay. Why not if you can't take it? Why? So if you can't take it apart, it's not as much fun? Yeah. Or at least for me. Okay, so there is our pirate. So you're wanting a you're wanting a stick. You have to get the hands in first, though. We do. Mhm. Mm the steel's little grooves. The the arms yeah. go in here. And then. Yeah, I know where they go, but... Right, put that on, that and then it would... locks them in place. Okay. Okay, I thought that was sand. Then the cat is supposed to go on that. But I think the middle one, though. Yeah, it's the middle one. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the soldier done. Now we're putting the wagon together. Yeah, put the wheels on these little things. More like the little the things in the wheels. How many are we going to want to place? Okay, so these little guys go right next to that. So put those things. And then the rest of these are going to go all the way around. There. Now we have the wagon. And we put the cat in there. Yeah, I don't think it actually sticks down. Oh, nope. Maybe we need another piece for it. No, well, I mean, we could make it stick down if we wanted to. But I think they just set it in there like this. Yeah. Well, let's just sit there. And then it sits there. Well, we also have stickers to deal with. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to put the stickers on here, though, because then you can't take it apart. Yeah, I can. Well, then you rip the stickers. 
Yeah. You just take these two off then. But the stickers go all along that side. Oh. I thought they only went like two blocks mm -hmm. with two of those, but. So you go the whole way. All right, so there, we have recreated what the box showed us. Except for the little stickers, but we don't want to do that. Yeah, we didn't put the stickers on, but here is what the box shows us. All right, and here are all of the, the parts put in, more or less the order that, that we had them in. All right, so now, Let's uh, get a verdict. So, what do you think of these? Are they cool? Kind of cool? The figures and stuff look cool, but the background might make it look a little better if we actually, if it actually came with the background. That it would. So, if it had like a little picture of the of the beach and everything. Yeah. It would be more fun. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it uh, from uh, Legoologist Matthew. I'd like to thank you very much for watching us put this together, and uh, hope you guys had fun.